My name's Glenn Dobson. I own an organization called the Kona Group. And at Kona, we, we specialize in four key areas. So we work with businesses in helping them increase their sales and their revenues. We work with their management team to help their managers become better leaders, help them become ma better managers of businesses and people. Um, we work with employees to help them perform. And you know, when you go into business for yourself, the biggest challenge nowadays for many organizations is, is in fact people. Um, and then also we work in, in the area of, of, of marketing and, in, and executing marketing strategies. So rather than just saying, okay, you need a brochure, you need this, we actually help them make, make their marketing come alive. Um, my, my background is by a quick way of a uh, quick snapshot. It's a mixture of British Army, uh, international triathletes. Uh, and the big question is, how will people remember you? If you are a retail shop, if you do work in aged car care, if you do work in accounting, or how will businesses remember you and your company? So here are 10 ways, 10 ideas that you might want to consider. How can you make the news? Yeah, we can all pay the manly daily, charges an arm and a leg, but can you make the news? Can you get in the newspaper for nothing? Um, if any, and I, and I need to say, if any of you have here have been, ever been affected by, by breast cancer, I, I, my, my thoughts are thought with you. This is a friend of mine, Janie Creighton. She lives in Manly. She's 52 years old. About two years ago, she had uh, her second bout of breast cancer, had a, had a mastectomy. So last year, Janie, myself, and two others, we ran across the Simpson Desert. We did four, ran 475 kilometers across the Simpson Desert. And we raised over $32,000 for breast cancer. So while it was a great cause, guess what? It hit the Manly Daily. It also hit the, the Daily Telegraph. It also got us on the TV. What can you do that will get you in the news that's also for a good cause? Unfortunately, <laughs> Well, I made a big mistake in life. I, f I got in the ring with John Hopperwati. Actually, it was one of the best experiences of my life. On that evening, I raised $7,000. I had interviews around the country. I had people ringing in from Brisbane, from Perth, from all over the country, radio stations saying, hear what you're doing. Who's Glenn Dobson from Kona? All this free advertising, and we got donations. So business advertising stood out from the crowd and, uh, and raised funds. When we talk about being different from your competition, that's a heck of a way to do it. Now, ladies, gentlemen, I'm not suggesting you get in the ring with John Hopperwati. Seriously, he's this broad, he's that deep, he's half my age and a lot, lot tougher. But it was a great experience. Stand out from the crowd.